us start the story of Hoplegs right away. In an oddly shaped house lived a great and beloved wizard. After a lifetime of heroic deeds and mastering arcane arts, he spent his retirement training his apprentice, Hoppus Legendfried. This fateful day started peacefully and calm, like every other day for the past 99 years, when suddenly, the great wizard barged in through the door, screaming, Hoppus, the medieval prophecy, it's being fulfilled. We must warn King Dartha. My magic is spent, Hoppus. You must be the one to warn the king. Hoppus felt his stomach heroically knot up with the realization of responsibility that was about to land on his shoulders. With the wizard's last words before fainting, he whispered, Use the teleportation spell. You are ready. Hoppus now stood on the threshold of not only the door to the weirdly shaped house, but of the heroic adventure he had dreamt of his whole life. He was preparing the teleportation spell, bending the mystical forces with his fingertips, when a sudden thought sprang into his mind. Had he remembered to pack everything? A swoosh and a kaboom run out across the hills surrounding the weird-looking house. When the smoke and light had abated, Hoppus and his master were nowhere to be found. In the middle of the room, there stood a simple box. It opened its eyes, and out of the mouth came Hoppus's voice. Oh no. After a brief moment of bravely accepting the unforeseen consequences of being distracted while spellcasting, he steadied himself. I still need to warn King Darthur about the prophecy. And with those words, he set out to become the greatest hero the world had yet to see. The sun was shining, the birds were singing, and Hoppus was ready for his first real adventure. Strange to be a box, but Hoppus felt that he was starting to get control over himself. Problems adapting to his new body. Thank you. 